Hello, this is Robert Perkins, the immigration professor. Uh, this is my video on family-based immigration. We're going to go over all the different family relationships upon which you can immigrate or get a green card to the United States, except for immediate relatives. We've already covered in our marriage visa section uh, marrying a citizen, which is one type of immediate relative. We'll cover the other ones in another video. These family relationships are what we call the preference uh, family-based categories, and there's actually four of them that we're going to go over. You can see all of my um, videos on my website, www.immigration-professor.com, uh, or if you have a specific question about a case, please call my office at 310-384-0200. Uh, we do immigration law all over the United States, and we have physical offices at this moment in Illinois and California with more to come soon. So let's go over the different types of family relationships that allow one to immigrate. And it's a tough concept uh, to understand this whole concept of family-based immigration. And the reason why is because there are lengthy waits. And during those waits, people are not entitled to be in the United States or work in the United States. And it gets a little bit confusing. So what I want to do first is kind of give you a general overview that family immigration, like other types of immigration, and again, we are talking about getting a green card or permanent residence based on a family relationship, is a two-step process. Step one is to show that you're eligible for a certain category of family-based immigration. Uh, let's say, for example, that your brother is a citizen and he is petitioning for you. Uh, so as part of step one, you're showing, my bro I, I have a brother, so you can show both birth certificates, and my brother is a citizen, so I am eligible for this particular category of immigration. Step two is to actually adjust status, or in some cases, get a visa or green card at a consulate or embassy. And that process, there may be a number of years before you are eligible to do step two. Um, and the reason for that is that there are a certain number of green cards that our government gives out in these preference categories each year. And fortunately or unfortunately, as the case may be, many more people apply for these green cards than are eligible in any given year. So that is why there are waits of a number of years. And again, we'll go over the, what those waits are uh, shortly. So in any event, there could be waits of a number of years before you go through step two. What step two involves is showing that you are not barred from immigrating to the United States. For example, people with criminal convictions are barred. People that have violated the immigration laws can be barred. Uh, people with certain medical conditions are barred. So there's a lot of bars, and you show in step two uh, that, you, you know, that you don't fall under any of those bars of people that the United States wants to keep out. So who is eligible? What are the categories of family-based immigration? I mentioned earlier in the video that there are four. Um, and they go like this. The first preference or category is for the sons, the adult sons and daughters. Adult means over 21 of U.S. citizens. So that's the first category of immigration, the sons and daughters of U.S. citizens. So uh, again, you can prove you're eligible for that if your parent's a citizen. They can prove that they're a citizen, and you can prove that they're, you're a son or daughter. You're over 21, you would fall into that category. And that's what's called the first preference. The second preference is divided into two parts. There's part A, which is... Uh, uh, and they all involve, in the second preference, permanent residents or green card holders. The first is for the spouse or minor child, under 21, of a permanent resident or green card holder. Uh, 
that's part 2A. And the second preference, part B, is for sons and daughters, again being defined as over 21, of permanent resident. So those are the first two preferences, and I'm going to fit in the last preference down below. I'm going to be a little controversial. Uh, go down there. The, the last one is for married sons and daughters of citizens. That's the third preference. Um, one thing I neglected to mention um, about the first preference and also the second part, all these other preferences is that you have to be unmarried uh, for the first two preferences if you're a son or daughter. But number three is for the married sons or daughters of citizens. And the last preference is actually for the brothers and sisters of U.S. citizens. And that's the, the last um, the last preference. So this is how this is basically how the preference um, categories work. Again, you can see all of our videos on my website www.immigration-professor.com or about your specific case, please call us at 310-384-0200. So currently we are speaking, it is December of 2009, a little bit about the weight categories. So let's say you are the son or daughter over 21 of a, of a U.S. citizen. I'm looking at a publication called the Visa Bulletin, which is available on our website. It is a government publication. It is currently about a five and a half year wait for most countries in the world um, before you will be able to immigrate. And what you would do is file a petition to show you are the son or daughter of a U.S. citizen. That would be step one and that petition would be approved. And then you would have to wait five years before you would be able to immigrate. Now the waiting periods are quite long. The spouse or minor child of a U.S. citizen, the current wait period is almost four years. So if you're a green card holder and you get married, it's a long wait for your husband or wife to come. Brothers and sisters are up to 10 years. And again, as I said earlier, you do not have the right to stay or work while you are waiting. Additional information about some of these problems with these categories are going to be available in other videos. You can see all of my videos on my website www.immigration-professor.com or call our office at 310-384-0200. Thank you so much.